Evidence of the devastating tornadoes that hit five states last week remains. With so much debris, cleanup crews are struggling to clear the clutter themselves. News Channel 9's Allison Levine tells us how one town is sharing that burden. From mountains of debris to blue tarps and border windows, all signs in Athens point to last week's tornado. The path of devastation was so long is what was, was kind of shocking to see. Mark Cochran works in the McMinn County Mayor's Office. While it's a long road to recovery, he's not worried about finding volunteers to help along the way. Our phone has really just has, has really rang off the hook. Uh, just folks wanting to volunteer and just asking, hey, can they cook a meal? Can they come help sort clothes or donate clothes? And all week, people have been doing just that. Today, the county opted for a more organized approach. Today is a little bit more of a centralized effort to get a large number of people out at all these different homes. Homes like this one, <laughs> where volunteers no, sift there. through debris, right. sorting scraps for recovery hey, and others for rubbish. 75 volunteers peppered the McMinn County countryside this morning. Jeff Crane drove an hour. I live in Murphy, North Carolina. Just to lend a helping hand. I thought it would be a great idea to come out and help clean up. It's not the first time a tornado has hit this region and it won't be the last. But the outpouring of support comes as no surprise to those who know Athens well. But it's really a testament just to the entire region uh, of just folks wanting to step up and help those in need. Allison Levine, News Channel 9. The National Weather Service is an EF2 tornado injured 20 people and caused heavy damage to the Deerfield Estates area in McMinn County.